Hello and welcome to Transmission, the car show that skips the top gear entirely. I'm your host David Lee, your man who knows everything about cars but can't actually drive. Coming up on today's show, we talk about cars, look at cars and talk to a guy who once drove cars. This is Transmission. Transmission. In car news, Aston Martin are set to release the RB003. The car uses FlexFoil technology. The cabin is spacious and 3D printed. It's set to be more practical and road ready than any other mid-tier hypercar. But with only 500 in production, don't expect to see too many out on the roads. Elon Musk took his time out of his busy day of tweeting and annoying stockholders to address claims that his underground tunnel is like driving on a dirt road. There are still problems to be worked out, but the two minute car journey left many critics, wa critics wanting more. The future may be in front of us, but it's not even close. Now, on to some more local news. The Malcolm Wilson Rally took to 43 miles of beautiful Lake District landscape during the 43rd year. The winners, Ewan Thornburn and Paul Beaton, completed the race driving a Ford Focus WRC. Well done to them. Now let's have a look at some of the action. All right, we're on the Scottish border today. Got some lovely weather here yeah, for the Malcolm Wilson Rally. Let's see what they've got to offer. All right, thank you for following us around the Scottish border. Let's go back to the studio. I'm joined now with Mark Stafford. He's worked in the car industry for 21 years and at Aston Martin for four of those, overseeing the delivery of the DB7 Vanquish. Thank you for joining me today. No problem. Now, your job sounds fascinating. You've met a lot of A-list celebrities, including members of the royal family. Are there any highlights that spring to mind? There are lots of highlights. I've been very, very lucky with uh, a lot of the people I've met. A lot of ordinary people, as you would call them as well, but uh, certainly delivering uh, Virage Volante up to Prince Andrew at Balmoral Estate oh, wow. uh, when the, uh, the two uh, princesses were young enough to be able to fit in the back. Uh, <laughs> but I'm a, a sportsman by heart and... Uh, you know, we delivered cars to footballers and golfers and boxers, and I think Lennox Lewis is probably my favourite uh, A-list oh, yeah. celebrity, as you might call him. Um, we first met him at the Birmingham Motor Show and when he was filming a piece for the show organisers, and uh, we delivered him a couple of cars, and then ultimately I was uh, in Las Vegas when he unified the world heavyweight title in 1999, so oh, good wow. guys, Luke. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me about your worst moments working at Aston Oh, there have been a few of those, don't you worry. <laughs> I, and one of them was uh, I managed to write off a DB7 coupe before the first customer DB7 had actually been delivered, which is not something I'm hugely proud of, but... Um, but I think the most embarrassing was we had uh, Ian Wright, uh, ex-England and Arsenal oh, yeah. footballer, and uh, he came in to, uh, to see a, a DB7 Volante convertible. And uh, so I set the car up in the courtyard and uh, said to him, sat in the car, one foot in, one foot out, and said, well, the first thing you need to do in is switch the ignition on. Um, because we'll drain the battery, we're moving the hood. So switch ignition on. As soon as I did, I realised it was a manual <laughs> and it was in gear. And we were hopping down towards the rose bed at the bottom with me digging my heels into the shell to try and stop it. But uh, managed to stop it. And uh, yeah, that was embarrassing. Come on, be honest now. So who was the biggest, for lack of a better word, idiot that you had to work with? Uh, that's your word, David. And um, when you hear <laughs> the name, you may not want to use that but uh, <laughs> it's another boxer I think Chris Eubank he oh. um he always said when he was fighting his persona in the ring was different than his persona out of the ring um it wasn't he was exactly the same if not worse out of the ring so we uh, we converted a car for him and uh, we had to remove the rear seats to put in bass speakers which is what he wanted but of course 
a third volume, the rear wings were vibrating, there was that much bass, and uh, he used to phone us after training for two hours in an afternoon complaining about the car, and we used to just pass him around my colleagues. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we sent you around the track on our ridiculously priced car, how do you think you did? Yeah, it was okay, it was a difficult day, windy, raining, sleet, little bit of hail, wouldn't choose a semi-automatic to drive past around the track, much prefer a manual, but I think we did okay. Well, it was certainly a fun day, let's see how you did. Three, two, one, go! It's an alright start, looks like you're quite enjoying yourself. Lane's quite tight coming into that corner. Hey, that, that's pretty good. Good look at determination there. Coming up on the slalom now, see if you keep control. And perfect. Handles well. Should be coming up on that long corner soon. That's pretty good, but a little bit wide around that post. Very speedy. Blistering down there. Should be coming up the runway now. Hey, watch out for them planes. Through the gate and across the line. Well, that was certainly a good laugh. Is there anyone that you'd like to beat on the leaderboard? Uh, yeah, I'd definitely like to be ahead of Alistair Campbell. Uh, my political views are uh, diversely opposite to his, but um, I'm also a great fan of Mark Knopfler, uh, particularly with his time with Dire Straits. So between those yeah. two, it'd be wonderful. I do love a bit of Knopfler. Anyway, so you actually did it in 122.3, so you've, you've actually beaten Knopfler. Goodness me. No, yeah. I'm very, very pleased with that, particularly given the conditions. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for. We have to take the car back as technically we don't actually own it. Um, some Brexley Baldy Bank has probably noticed it's gone missing by now. And on that car crash of a joke, that's all from me. Good night.